Hey, Psych2Go family, welcome back to our channel. Thank you all so much for the love that you've given us. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, so thank you. As a quick note, we wanted to say that this video is for educational purposes only, and we're not suggesting that you need to end your relationship if you're familiar with any of these reasons. What's important is to sit down with your partner and talk about any issues first. We also encourage you to speak with somebody you trust who can provide support. With that said, let's begin. Being in love can feel like one of the most amazing feelings in the world. Even though you and your partner are very much in love with each other, it doesn't necessarily mean that they'll stick around. Sometimes you can be in a relationship with someone who loves you and that person can still wind up leaving you. That feeling of abandonment can really hurt. And it does because you know that you had love within your grasp and you still let it slip away. It can make you question your entire relationship. Like, why would they so willingly walk away from love? To help you get some closure, here are six common reasons why people choose to leave the ones that they love. Number one, they don't feel respected. Do you respect each other in your relationship? At the foundation of any kind of relationship is respect. Your partner may love you, but they will never allow themselves to stay in a relationship that didn't have mutual respect. A person's dignity is always going to come first, and it's best to stay mindful of that notion. Number two, they don't feel emotionally supported. Are you able to be vulnerable and open around each other? The bulk of what makes up a good relationship is the emotional support between two individuals who love one another. Neither one of you wants to feel slighted or cheated. Rough patches are common, and having to be vulnerable can be difficult. Vulnerability opens up the possibility of pain. And if your partner doesn't feel that they're being supported emotionally, it's less likely that they will allow themselves to be vulnerable with you. Number three, your relationship has experienced a loss of physical intimacy. Have you ever been in a situation where you still love and care for your partner, but you're not attracted to them anymore? Physical affection is much more than sex and is part of the glue that holds a relationship together. Research has found that non-sexual physical intimacy is key to long-term happiness in a relationship and that held close skin-to-skin -skin contact releases the same bonding chemicals in your brain as sex would. Research has found that humans have an innate ability to interpret emotional messages through touch alone. In a 2009 study conducted by Hertenstein, blindfolded people were able to correctly interpret eight distinct emotions, such as anger, fear, disgust, love, gratitude, sympathy, happiness, and sadness, solely through the touch of a stranger, with 78% accuracy. Loss of physical intimacy is often the first step towards a loss of emotional intimacy. It's such a critical part of a relationship that when it's gone, you or your partner may be tempted to look for it somewhere else. Number four, they don't feel adequate. Believe it or not, a person is always at risk of leaving the relationship whenever they don't feel like they're enough for somebody. In a relationship, your partner wants to feel validated by you and desires to be appreciated. Over time, if they don't get the appreciation they deserve, they may feel inadequate and choose to leave the relationship. Number five, they don't feel listened to. One tip you always get is that communication is very important in a relationship. However, we might take that to mean that we need to be doing a lot of talking in the relationship, but it's more than just talking. It's also about listening. Do you truly listen to what your partner has to say? Or do you listen just for the sake of responding? Healthy communication consists of both listening and speaking. If your partner doesn't feel properly listened to and like they don't have much of a voice, they may feel that they can't express themselves in the way that they'd like to. And number six, they no longer feel an emotional connection. Studies have shown that the love and passion that comes with the initial boost of marriage have a tendency to wear off after about two years. This is why the best relationships are the ones that have genuine friendship at their core. Emotional connection is often what sustains a long lasting relationship. And if that is no longer there, this may be another reason why people choose to leave the person they love. Did this video help you find closure? Or if you've left someone you loved, did you relate to any of these reasons? Let us know in the comments below. It can be difficult and overwhelming, especially when making the decision to leave a relationship that you're invested in. 
We hope this video was able to provide some insight for you. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.